Okay, next we're going to put on our bottom flange. Make sure your O-ring is seated all the way properly. And that the your fittings are facing towards the bottom of the legs. Now I want to check to make sure my O-ring is within the cylinder. Four top four bolts. Again, it is best here to just leave this hand tight for now. Okay, so now we need to stand up our motor on its legs. We have, we want to tighten down all of our bolts tight. The reason why we wait till this time is so that we know that the legs are straight up and down. It's better to do it with it standing up. So use a star pattern like you were putting on your car tire. And just make them all snug and then go back around it again. Using an impact wrench on this part is perfectly fine. Next we want to pull out our piston just a little bit to give us access to it. And I like to use the cap from the Opti Seal, it gives you a little bit better grip. You just slide it out. Now go ahead and tighten it all the way in. Lock down your, your lock down nut. Install our muffler.
At this point, your motor is fully reassembled and should be as good as new.